Good morning. This is Patrick McCullough, forecaster here at the National Weather Service office in San Angelo. Look at the uh, upcoming forecast across west central Texas. This briefing is being updated early Thursday morning. Well, for uh, today and tonight, um, it's going to be warm. Uh, light and variable, uh, light, uh, light and variable winds becoming southerly at 10 to 15 miles an hour. Uh, but the uh, temperatures are going to be warm, uh, upper 60s to lower 70s across west central Texas this afternoon. We're still going to have that dry air mass in place, and with wind speeds picking up a little bit during the afternoon, the, uh, the main concern we will have for today will be an uh, elevated fire danger. As we saw with a grass fire on the uh, west and northwest side of San Angelo uh, yesterday afternoon and evening, uh, it doesn't take much at this time of year to, uh, to have a, a grass fire begin to spread fairly rapidly. Cool again tonight, although not as cold as we are looking at early this morning, with the low temperatures falling into the mid and upper 40s. After that, starting on Friday, we start a uh, kind of a four-day weather adventure across the area with a different season for each day of the next four days. Friday is going to be spring-like, with uh, afternoon high temperatures uh, climbing well up into the 70s across all of West Central Texas. Saturday is going to be uh, very similar, um, kind of summer-like actually, with high temperatures climbing to near the 90 degree mark across uh, many locations. Sunday is our, uh, our changeable day, uh, the autumn-like day, with uh, temperatures that are going to be fairly warm in the morning, but with a strong cold front pushing through the area for the afternoon, with temperatures much cooler by a late afternoon. In fact, I think uh, after highs in the 60s and 70s, we may be looking at some temperatures falling well into the 40s and 50s by late afternoon. And then Monday will be very winter-like, actually, in, in most locations. Much colder, widespread rainfall across the area, and high temperatures uh, only in the uh, lower 40s for most locations. In fact, a few locations across the big country, um, out near uh, St Sweetwater, maybe even as uh, far south as Sterling City, may see temperatures holding in the 30s through much of the day. Thank you, and we'll continue to keep you updated.